Five years after we had our collective minds blown with the release of Witcher 3, CD Projekt Red has finally released Cyberpunk 2077. Sure, we had to sit by enduring four separate delays and countless trailers apparently showing the entire beginning of the game, but we made it. We can finally dive into the world of Night City and enjoy all the magic this twisted dystopian world can deliver. Take on the role of V, a character you get to build with a creator featuring all of the twisted perception of style you'd expect from a franchise called Cyberpunk. While it doesn't have any options for height or body shape, you do get incredible features like removing your nipples and deciding the type, size, shape, and pubic adornment of your genitals. These are features that let you know that CD Projekt really cares about us. You're also able to select your starting story. This amounts to maybe 20 minutes of introductory content that doesn't seem to really matter until it lets you say relevant things and dialogue options which may or may not be beneficial. Whatever you choose, you end up watching a montage of cool events you didn't get to participate in and then jump forward six months to the first mission that you actually get to play. Of course, this is another mission you've probably already seen if you've watched the trailers, but it gets you acclimated with how to do basic things so you suck a little less. It also introduces the point where I began my quest to loot every single piece of lootable garbage in the city. Years of RPGs like Elder Scrolls and Fallout have taught me I need to pick up every single thing not nailed down in the off chance I might need it. The addition of a crafting system drives home how important that is. One of the first perks I picked up in this interesting skill grid was the ability to instantly turn junk into pieces of crafting materials. I've learned since recording this that this skill also automatically disassembles the junk items worth tons of money. That's a stupid feature. Don't get this skill if you want to avoid the stupidity of that design. Now there was nothing holding me back from my quest to fill my pockets with dozens of types of food and drinks people left lying around like it wasn't integral to their existence. Sure, there were dozens of NPCs in every location looking super cool and sometimes being clones of themselves while they mill around and do nothing, but they don't seem to have a use for virtually any of the items they leave behind. No one even cares when you barge into their home or place of business and just start stealing their money and belongings. As I sat idly in long conversations with these wonderfully detailed and voice-acted characters, my mind would always wander to what loot I could gather next. The thrill of tearing through enemies in intense combat and dynamically destroying their cybernetic parts with my hacking skills was always second to the exhilaration of finally being able to search them in the entire room for goodies. When the game broke and I couldn't progress in the main quest, I saw this as an opportunity to explore Night City and take it piece by piece back to my apartment to complete my stockpiling fantasies. After the culmination of the first act and the introduction of Keanu Reeves trying his hardest not to just sound like Keanu Reeves normally sounds, the world opens up and lets you finally see it the way it's meant to be. With my kleptomaniacal efforts, this introductory section that's probably only supposed to take a few hours took me just over 10. Maybe after 50 more hours of melting my video card to achieve 60 frames per second and finally looting enough to replace this stupid hat, I'll be able to make an unabbreviated review. Until then, I think I'll pass out in my lovely cozy bed and this new futuristic way to sleep in beds and get some rest for my next hoarding adventure. If you would also like to start your adventure in looting, I've decided to give away an extra copy of Cyberpunk 2077. All you have to do is leave a comment on the video and be a subscriber. I'll pick the winner a week after uploading. Check the description for more information. If you like game reviews that aren't really game reviews and also sound like commercials, act now and like this video and subscribe to see more.